What's up everyone, it's your boy Mikhail Casanova coming at you with yet another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review of Horizon Zero Dawn. And I wanna personally thank Sony and Gorilla Games for sending me an early review copy. Am I paid to review this? No, they just sent it to me to do a review because they just want more exposure for the game. And I have to say that this game is something you definitely need to have in your library. If you have a PS4 and you don't have this game, you're doing yourself a, a, a massive, massive disservice, and I, I, I don't know. It should be a crime. You should get locked up for it. I mean, there's no reason to have a PS4 and not have this game. So, that being said, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and make sure on this corner down here, if you will go ahead and ding that little bell, that way you'll be notified of all the latest content that's related to this channel, game reviews, tech, sport, you name it. And while I'm at it, I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my one of my best friends, Steel, Steel Toro, for starting his own channel. It's uh, TENS, so that stands for Tech, Entertainment, News, Sports. And I was honored to be part of the first episode ever last week, Saturday. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go to his channel and check it out. And I definitely think you should. He's going to be the next big sensation on YouTube. And, you know. I just, I'm excited for him, so I'm happy he's doing this. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So, before we do that, as you guys always know, I'd like to ask you one question. Do you want to dance? Horizon Zero Dawn sees a well darned break from the near 20 years, or actually over 20 years, of gritty battlefields that come from Killzone. And it's a step away from the crushed concrete and exposed steel mesh of the Helgen towards something brighter, definitely breezier, and significantly more open. Horizon Zero Dawn is a sumptuous, adventure that stretches its 30 hour tail across a vast and incredibly beautiful map that's light years away from the killing fields of Gorilla's first person shooter series, Killzone. This is an open world game of admirable scope, craft, and clear perfection. Now I want to go ahead and make this perfectly clear. Horizon Zero Dawn features the most compelling narrative of any video game of the current generation, bar none. In the beginning, Eloy just wants to know where she came from, and then she soon realizes that her origin and the origin of the world she lives in is inextricably intertwined. As she journeys further and further from home, she finds herself wrapped up in an increasingly complex web of disparate locals, warring factions, and political and philosophical and religious intrigue. But it's all a backdrop for an even larger mystery. Watching that mystery unfold is what will keep you coming back to Horizon Zero Dawn every day until you've seen it all play out from start to finish. And there are dozens upon dozens upon dozens of side quests to complete, errands to run, machines to tame, and gear to acquire along with the way. But the plot is truly what you're playing for. Now the grand structure of Horizon Zero Dawn definitely copies The Witcher 3, but in a loving way. It's a series of quests that guide you through the various sights and sounds of this ruined earth, complete with countless diversions along the way, as are some of the finer details. Come across a scene and you'll be asked to investigate using your focus, which is an overlay enabled by a magical Bluetooth XQ type of headset you find early on in the game. One of the lumpier and kind of clumsy parts of the fiction here. Tracking footsteps and investigating items. So, there's not that same sense of purpose, though the all-important motivation and character getting lost in an uneven execution, so 
But in any way, we can actually forgive him for that. But the truth is, Horizon Zero Dawn does invite significant comparisons to The Witcher 3. And in that sense, it's a matchup that was always going to weigh against Kirilla's favor. And this doesn't benefit from all that world building that's gone before in CD Projekt's dark adult folklore. And in its place, we currently have a sci-fi fantasy that tends to try and copy it, but in its own way. And if we were to compare the two, I'd say The Witcher has the better, the better feel. But the overall narrative and charm definitely goes to Horizon Zero Dawn. Now the focus becomes the source of all the game's initial intrigue and drama. What is this device and where did it come from? Why is she seemingly the only one around with it? What is its significance? Of course, as Aloy embarks on her world traveling quest, she seeks to answer to all, or the answers to all these things. A few story twists later with her focus, a handy dandy bow and arrows, a robot overriding gear and tow, and if you're curious, overriding is the ability to hack robots to be your buddies in arms and noble seeds. Alois gallops into the horizon to reach the ends of the nature and robot overrun world hungry for answers. Now, I'm not going to say anything else about the story. It's something you need to experience. I'm going to just leave it at that because that's what it is. You need to experience this story. I, I will not ruin it for anyone. But what I will do now is transition over to talking about the combat. And in Horizon, combat is an integral aspect of it. And when you're first let loose in the plains against herds of robotic creatures, you will struggle and you will die a lot. The animals hit very hard, and they hit really fast, especially when several gang up on you at once. Luckily though, the stealth is just as much a viable option as tackling enemies head on. And the game encourages you to experiment with your style. Similar in fact to how Hitman takes its approach to gameplay and completing missions. As you progress, the number of options available to you open up, with skill and weapon upgrades coming thick and fast and extending your repertoire. The fighting always feels fluid, and Alloy is responsive and mobile. When you hit that timing window perfectly, narrowly, avoiding robotic jaws before turning to deliver the final blow, you feel unfucking touchable. I swear, unfucking touchable. Each piece of equipment, both weapons and armor, comes with its own stats. So, yeah, there's a significant RPG aspect to this game. Environmental bonuses and the like and can also be fitted with stat enhancing gear that's salvaged from decommissioned dinosaurs. Just as you're free to role play when chatting to the world's inhabitants, you're free to spec alloy out to your, suit your playstyle. Now, I like to play the game both stealthily, guns blazing, and a mix of the two. Now, for my initial review, I played the game stealthily for the most part. I crept through the long grass and used my spear to take down enemies incredibly silently. For the big threats in the open world, I was able and very happy to let them lumber past if I was on my way to a mission. The truth is, it's a very dangerous environment, and the game only gives you checkpoints during missions, so you can only record your progress by reaching a campfire and saving. It does make the stakes seem higher, but the unfortunate side effect is that it can make your risk adverse. So. You definitely need to weigh in the risk versus reward aspect of the game. It's a damn hard game, and I mean fucking hard at times. So if you take on more than you can handle, death is a sure and certain fact in this game, and it'll come within seconds. You can backpedal and fire arrows all you like, but most of the machines will catch up with you and smash the shit out of you, or hit you with a projectile as you back up. So you need to keep it moving. Always keep it moving. Constantly. Adjusting your aim, jumping and sliding, and diving as you fire. You're encouraged to plan encounters, in which this game you really should. Using Alloy's focus, essentially, uh, you'll be able to see an augmented, augmented reality view of the world, heightening her senses. You 
can see enemy weak points, you can also tag their patrol route, marking it on the ground. This knowledge gives you all the tools you need for the perfect ambush. Combat, truthfully, has a gratifying heft to it, but not in the sense of cumbersome like kill zones, bulky, methodical shooting modes for criticizing. Alloy is as agile as a cat ballerina. And after all, the heft here is from physicality. The way the machines react to flinch at each shot, and how pieces of metal splinter off impact, coupled with a punchy sound design. Some of the larger enemies have hundreds of destructible body parts that you can damage to chip away their health bars. You can even aim for their heavy weapons and scoop them up for yourself, spitting a volley of their own bullets at them and watching them crumble in the assault. The animations are so slick. A dynamic weather and time of day system also brings an extra layer of visual variety to your journey through this massive, beautiful, open world with dust storms, rain, and snow changing the mood. In the snow, scrap metal glistens from the frost. At night, fireflies dance in the darkness, and on a sunny day, leaves and pollen lazily float through the air. Rather than letting the world be completely at the mercy of these dynamic systems, developer Gorilla forces certain weather conditions on specific moments, ensuring the lighting always suits the scene. It's an interesting design decision, and it's one of the certainly that certainly heightens key scenes. Horizon might be the best looking open world game ever made in the history of gaming. And that's saying a hell of a lot. The music that accompanies Alloy throughout her long and epic adventure is coarse with a beat that sounds as though you've come from the nature outside while out in the wildlands. It's just Close your eyes and imagine you're at a beach or you're somewhere in nature that's just got that organic feel to it. And you'll be able to picture what I'm talking about. Wonderfully and naturally, the sound of elements help create an exquisite example of how music and elements of the world can fuse so brilliantly together. However, you, when you find yourself in battle with a machine, the music becomes EDM-ish, or a bit more techno, if you will, causing some of the more action-based tunes to fuse with a mechanical digital undertone. And along with the music, the voice cast is also well composed, fitting their characters perfectly. You'll hear the angst of Alloy's voice as she fights to survive, or the snarl of a mechanical beast right before it attacks. And in this instance, the authenticity of each voice, whether it's human or machine, is so stunningly well done that it deserves its own award. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review because there's not much more I can say without spoiling this game. And this is something you should definitely experience. If there's a more obvious path to the Game of the Year award, and there's anything that deserves Game of the Year, Aside from Nio, I haven't seen it. Sony, for its part, seems to have found the successor to Uncharted and The Last of Us. And after saying goodbye to Nathan Drake, the company is in obvious need of a stellar first person title worthy of being its successor. And honestly, if Horizon isn't that, that I don't know what the hell it is. So, my thoughts? This game gets the Casanova seal of approval. That means you need to go and cop this right now. This game, you need to experience it. This is game. Gorilla, Sony, thank you. And that wraps up our review for Horizon Zero Dawn. I hope you guys liked to you liked the video. I hope you liked the review. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up. 
and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you ding that little bell that way you stay up to date on all the latest content. And again, big thank you to Sony and Gorilla for sending this game to me and you know, it's such an honor, especially being a smaller YouTuber getting, you know, the opportunities like this to grow. And you know, it's just it's amazing. I'm honored. So, as always guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces wild, this is your boy Mikel Casanova. Signing out. Definitely go ahead and make sure you cop that game because it's definitely game of the year. And without further ado, I catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Everybody drinks so me. Everybody in this bitch drink for free. Give me a whiskey double. A little bit of deck is always trouble. And I'm feeling good. Like the man with the lady to prove a reader's wood. Next up, straight to the DJ. Tell him play whatever song she said. Her body is a misdemeanor. Did you as well?